My boys are dying. Some of them are poets. They have written a thousand poems, but not one has earned them a living. Open mics, don't open the door when the landlord closes your house. My boys are dying. Some of them are singers. You may or may not have heard their songs before, but every mealtime they eat their own songs and chalk on their lyrics. My boys are dying, don't let, don't let those Nike shoes fool you. There's nothing correct about the heart of a young man who has nothing but his Nike shoes. My boys are dying from being misunderstood. Understand that my boys will do anything for money. Understand that sometimes the modern woman has a watchman, CCTV cameras, and a mobile app that will send people to fix anything in her house, so the only security she might need from her man is financial. My boys are dying because their pocket is light. My boys are dying because their heart is heavy. Maybe if they had Whitney's voice, they would sing their heart out and just watch it beating right in front of them. My boys are dying from heartbreaks, from disappointments. They're not asking to win all the time. They're asking to win at least this one time. My boys are dying because the universe has refused to accept them as stars. Now they are outbound, bound to be out, out is soil. Soil is sometimes called dirt. My boys are dirty. My boys are dying from working in sewers and garbage points without proper gear. Their family fears, but it's what tears are leaving, believing tomorrow will come, but today is leaving. My boys are dying from taking care of families they don't feel taken care of. My boys are dying from bullet wounds. My boys are dying for being boys, for being big boys, for being just boys, for being bus boys, for being in a group of boys. My boys are dying before they are fathers. My boys are dying before they are fathers. My boys are dying because they are fathers. My boys are dying to go father. They've got bomb lyrics to bomb your TV, check their temperatures. They are walking degrees. Their mind is a state of art. The state has refused to stay outside. My boys are dying inside. Ask the jail warden. My boys are dying from duodenal wounds, from intestinal wounds. My boys are dying outside. My boys are dying because our leaders are clashing. My boys are dying because our leaders are lying. My boys are dying because integrity is dying. My boys are dying because their dreams are dying. I know boys my age in the streets going back to back, blaming a whole country for not having their back. My boys are dying because they lost hope. My boys are dying because their mind is at war. My boys are dying, and all our local leaders keep doing is lying, lying, lying to fly, Russia, Dubai, I wonder what to buy, while my boys cannot afford a bus. Back home, back home, back home. See, she was just by the way, between either way and any way, she didn't know which way to follow. In fact, she had no otherwise, no furthermore, but she fathers more motherless children. She's a chicken, yes, not because she's weak, but because she knows how to provide even though she's broke. She's a chicken because she knows how to seize fire and leave no smoke. Now she sits, she cooks, she cleans, she sweeps, she kisses her kitchen goodnight before she sleeps. If she is a she, not a he, then she should be treated like a she, not a he, then if God was a she, not a he, then the anthem of this planet would be who run the world, girls. See, she girls like those other girls. She's girly, but she doesn't girly creep because she's a copycat. She cut fights, and sometimes she wrestles and so catastrophic. So daughter, when you're grown, just in case you want to grow up and be an insect, I don't want you to be fly. We all know that flies depend on waste. Kim Kardashian is fly, and that's why she's with Kanye West. So daughter, when you're grown, just in case you want to grow up and be an insect, I want you to be a bee. So that if ever a man want, want to call you honey, he should know that you can make honey. So daughter, when you grow, just in case you want to grow up and be an insect, I want to be a jigger so that you can ever be on toes. So daughter, when you grow, see, I don't want to go for men with biceps and triceps. I want to go for men with concepts. You see, I've come across men who are called gym and they were in a relationship that never worked out. You see, I've come across bloggers, engineers, spending more time on the internet than they did with their children's homework. So daughter, when you're grown and a man older than your father wants to coach you, I want you to tell him this, I'm diabetic, I don't do sugar diet. So daughter, when you're grown, see, don't be deceived by careers. I've come across doctors whose wives were so patient and I've never taken them for a treat. So daughter, when you're grown, daughter, when you're grown, I want you to know that your body is a temple, holy and sanctified, and I've never seen a temple taking nudies and posting them on social media for the world to see, because one like from God, 
is equivalent to being your likes for men. So daughter, when you grow up, I want you to start listening to your own conscience before you start listening to vibes cartel and conscience because their vibes makes me unconscious. So daughter, when you grow up, I don't want you to fight for your own rights. I want you to sit for your own rights. Where? Tell him you're diabetic. Because yes. you don't do sugar diet. <laughs> I like <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That is books and blogs on such a high this month of October. My goodness, teardrops. Mufasa, welcome to the program. Thank you. Welcome to our world. <laughs> I want to live in your world. Well, thank you. Thank you. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the death, the humor. Yeah. Uh, where does that, that come from? From God. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it straight to the point. Yeah. There's no kupaka paka mafuta here. Yeah. True. You it's can't say you can you can't beat yourself like same. In the beginning there was what? God was a poet. The world was created with words. It mm. said, let there be and it was. Who are you? Uh, who stretched it a bit? <laughs> Give it 60 more seconds. <laughs> Ooh, I love, love, love what I have heard. And and your boys, man. My boys, man. My boys. I'm your boys. <laughs> <laughs> what is that story he told us before the show started about the landlord? And then he put it there. No, he, he was the one talking about no, the he landlord. He was the one, yeah. but he put it in your in your piece, in your opening piece, like oh, they have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like open mic, then open the door. <laughs> oh my goodness. My so, landlord, where you are, wherever you are, listen to our pieces, my boys. Uh -huh. And people out there buy tickets to events. Yeah. Our landlord don't take applause. They don't. Yes. <laughs> hey. and God bless you. <laughs> They don't take a plus. <laughs> and God bless you. No, they don't. No, they take the money. They take the money. Yeah. Manze, Changamuka Pro. I see you. Yeah. Speaking of events, what are you two building together now? Is there something you're working on? Yeah. You want to talk about it? Yeah. So, Unchained Voices is a journey because basically the first time we had we did an event together was five years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. And back then, poetry wasn't at the level it is right now. So we came together, decided, okay, how do we... Because uh, it was more about converting more people into spoken word, basically. Uh, and apart from converting as well, commercializing it in a way that we can earn from it. Of course. So it's been a journey, five years. Yeah, five years. In it fact, the October. last time it happened was in October. October, October 12th. Look yeah. at us. Yes, and now we're so October 9th. It's an anniversary, five years like anniversary. It, like it. It. <laughs> I love it. So now, what are doing now? So, uh, we just we decided to come back again and just remember, just enjoy it. Nini, talk about all this 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 time. Okay. So, it's uh, on October the 9th? Yeah, October 9th. That's a day before my birthday. Yeah. Oh! I like it. So, you come so, on yeah, Eve. Of course. Okay. Eve. You go back to the Eve. Right? It's actually about the Eve. Eve, yeah. Yeah, you come and have fun. Yeah. Actually, yeah. we'll organize a cake if she comes here. Yeah. Oh! Muffin, no, muffin, muffin, no, muffin, 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 cake, muffin, muffin, it's muffin, the candle. Yeah, muffin, the candle. I like it. <laughs> you like it? Yes. <laughs> it's your birthday too. No, uh, my birthday can be any time. It can be any time. You were born any time. I just, I just, I I stepped. Okay, so what, what is the meat of that event? What can we expect? Uh, it, it has a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, I most of it is a surprise. Nobody knows what's, what's gonna happen. Oh, you don't want to share that so that okay. people can come and experience. If you miss it, you miss it. You miss yeah. it. Yeah. So um, we are creating so many things. Uh, we are putting up different kind of arts together. Okay. Fusing with poetry and spoken word, mm -hmm. live bands, and so many other things. So many um, art forms and. Yeah. Um, even us, it's a surprise to us because the people that we are working with, the team and the people yeah. that are putting this together, yeah. they're telling us ideas that we never even thought of before. Wow. Uh, and it's, it's an aw awesome experience and an awesome journey. Yeah. Yeah. We are very, very humble. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, okay. Mukihata, Mumehata. Itakua Wapi? Itakua at National Theatre. Uh, oh, nice. National Theatre. So, so yeah. 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 It's going to happen yeah. on... The 9th of October, of October yeah. which is a Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. On a Wednesday in the evening. Well, uh, Mombak Samanga, I don't know, weekend, we're not yeah. around. We're not 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 around. We're not
using our voices yes. uh, to make other people, especially young people like us, aware yeah. of their environment and as well uh, make them work towards the development yeah. of their environment. Yeah. Yeah. I see that because even that piece you opened with is very yeah. um, social centric. Like yeah. centered on the boy. Yeah, because you know. I, I'm, I'm even tired. Like lately, I'm, I'm tired of being probably being called uh, at a place and then we're only asked to perform during health breaks or time me <laughs> a sadaka. Like it's I, like you're preparing I'm someone. Gym. Yeah, like because <laughs> I believe what, uh, this is just a but means of us saying sadaka, what you want to say. <laughs> it's still important. Yes. But if you look at the most platforms that you go around, the young person is given health break. Like I'm a time a sadaka when. So basically, can you come and do something in between this mm, time? Exactly. It's something, it's uh, something. Our poetry is not something. Yeah. No, so we're trying to gift. clean that space yeah. as well. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So it's at what time? Uh, 6 p.m. Okay. All the way to nine, but now actually five. We are early five. At a part of this day, I'm going to We want to create some art outside. Oh, so nice. So we are going by five. They'll get some booth their art outside. Nice. Yeah. So this is like a five-year reunion thing going on. Between the two of you. <laughs> yeah. We've been together for five years. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but uh, it's not like a reunion. We have, like, we have been busy. We have been busy working on different projects. Yeah. Right. Together. Yeah. No, not together. He was working on the book, I was working on the album, yeah. um, on so many other things. Yeah. So, um, the last time we did, we launched an album together. Yeah. So I was like, uh, bro, yeah. And we have been saying, we have been saying, let's mm. stop saying. So yeah. uh, at some, uh, some point we said, for us to work on this thing, we have to come up with a day and a time and we commit. So if we have a day and time and we have the poster out, so if you mess up with the people, it's upon us. So we put a commitment to ourselves. So, put the day. so we are pushing it and pushing yeah. it and now it's, it's there. October the 9th from yeah. 5 p.m. Kenya yeah. National yeah. Theater. Please, show It's up. gonna be fire. Hey, come with like signatures. Yeah. <laughs> I what will be there. I mean, yeah. I mean, what better gift than to be there to just listen to all of this art? We'll make all sure you're there. We'll no, sure I'll, there. No, I'll be there okay. and no attention to me. It's your night, okay? And the other artists on stage birthday. as well. My <laughs> birthday is the following day. So, yeah. Nice. So, where did this journey start? First of all, Mufasa, what's, what is your real name? I know this is like your art name. Or is it like your name name? Why? Oh, you don't want to Why? share it. If you don't want to share it, I can respect no, it. Kibet, Kibet. Oh, you're Kibet. Yeah, Kibet. Oh, you're nice. On the run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you, teardrops? My name is Joshua. Ah. Like Miguna. <laughs> Miguna is Joshua. Yes. I didn't know. I just know he's Miguna, in, Miguna. In Canada, eh? I just know he's Miguna, Miguna. Yeah, there's another name. <laughs> Teardrops come from? Um, uh, it's like a metaphorical name. Okay. So when someone is crying, you don't know why he's crying or she is crying. Yeah. Um, you can be having tears of joy, tears yeah. of pain, tears, tears that you're just, they're just tears. When you're yawning, you're just. Yeah, yeah, tears. you can yawn until you start crying. Yeah, yeah, I you know start that. Crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, at some point I was in school and some, some, some people we came up with, we came up with um, there was some, when you're in school, people are divided in subgroups. Okay. And I was in a group and we, we happened to, we were told to come up with names that uh, resemble birds. So we, we were out. Birds like Birds, birds of the same feather. Okay. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I was there and they say we, we are out, owls. Owls, so many owl. Oh, yeah, it's an owl, yeah. yeah it's an owl. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Then I, I heard that owls, Zulia Machuza the White, then I'm like, wow. Machuza the White? Yeah, like, true story. Yeah, true story. Uh -huh. True story, true story. Uh -huh. So Machuza the White, then I'm like, whoa, that must be a peaceful tears, man. You know, the Machuza White, no, the Machuza White, not a lesson of a chalk. So I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm like, I like this bird. Yeah. This is my birdie. So, <laughs> uh -huh. I decided that uh, our tag, we had, we, we, we were supposed to come up with also with a name, yeah. like uh, not a name, a song. Then um, that, at that time, there was crank, crank music was so, so, so mm -hmm. everywhere. And I'm like, uh, our theme song will be teardrops, 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 are, teardrops are white, where the howls, the owls, owls, owls. Then I'm like, ah. I did not read them or anything, so uh -huh. that can name you a good but the teardrop stuck. Then I'm uh, like, okay. Yeah, well, it's, it's very stuck. unique, actually. Then I take it from there, and here we go. Yeah, yeah. teardrops. Yeah. Okay. 
from the owl. Yeah. White teardrops. White teardrops. Yeah. The white. White. Exactly. Oh okay. It's still fine. Yeah, yeah big colors, big colorful. It's like fine. <laughs> <laughs> big colorful. And Mufasa? Yeah, so Mufasa was a nickname growing up. It wasn't Mufasa initially, it was Lion. Hey. Ah, uh, yo, relax. <laughs> it was Lion first. And then uh, Mufasa came about when I started performing. I remember the first time I performed a poem, I didn't have a name yet, mm-hmm. like a stage name or mm-hmm. something. And it's always fun, it's better when you have a stage name. Maybe they could keep talking stage and like, ah, the next on stage is Timothy. Go for it. You can have a stage. Use your name. Use your name. Use your Zephania name. Eh? Okay. Uh, yeah. So you didn't have a name? Uh, so now basically I didn't have like a stage name or something. Right. Uh, and then what happened was after my performance, so someone was because normally outside stage, Muka Moga, like I'm a very shy person, Nini, all these things. Very but when shy. I'm on stage, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I'm on stage, I get into this different world where I just I'm in control. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the, the lion aspect came about there. Got it. And then now Mufasa, someone else just called me Mufasa. Yeah. I was given the name. Yeah. And then I didn't take it at first. Then later on, after a performance or two or three, and yeah, was it? Yeah. Mufasa. You're truly true. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very unique. Yeah. It's very basically. unique. Okay, so we go to your book, Raising a Son. Yeah. Mm. What's the imagery? What's the cover about? Ah, so the cover, mm. the cover is basically, this is the city, this is Nairobi. Yeah. It's yeah. a bit dark. And basically this guy here is trying to raise a son himself. Uh-huh. Like a, literally like the son. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically the idea was, we normally say there is light at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. But now I felt like instead of us waiting, for light at the end of the tunnel when you're in darkness. We can try as much as we can as well. Try light ourselves while we are still in the tunnel. Whoa, okay. So, yeah. We light ourselves when you're still in the tunnel. Yeah. Raising so, a yeah. sun. That is so much depth. Yeah. Like like that has like you thought about it in titling the book? Yeah, because there's a lot of reasons. But basic as well, it has many meanings. I prefer the way you'll understand it, Ache I don't have like a one straight meaning. Because as well, it's, it's, I was writing it as a young man as well. Like growing up, Komtoi, Kuja Nairobi, all these things you go through. So it's as well a bit of raising a son. Yes. Like a boy boy yeah, there as well. That's so, the meaning I got. Yeah. yeah. So it has all those meanings. I get it. Yeah. But I like the, the, the meaning that you put to it. Yeah. So it ha- basically it, it, it talks about different situations. Yeah. From being born and then hanging around Nairobi. You know, Nairobi is hard. Like Nairobi is when you realize, Ish, <laughs> life is not funny. Like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. So now, uh, and then as well now, all these things that you interact with, of course, Nairobi especially, mm. you start learning, and learn a bit more. Yeah. Uh, even how people probably, there's a time people, and you know, women in town, when uh, fully stripped clothes. Yeah. All these things that you see, in a, in a kusumbu and in an open mind in a different way. Yeah. So. I see that. And then finally as well, uh, at the end, national politics. Like, when I realize, eh, hey, actually leadership affects your way of life. It's true. Yeah. As much as you, 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 you're trying to run life, mate. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a part of your life. It's a part of your life. You can't run away. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're young. Yeah. And uh, maybe you're 92 years old. Call you're 92. 2022, you're 30 years old. Stephen, you're 92. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
leader wenyewe atakufanya uko na better health care uko na nina 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 yeah, yeah. itakuwa fake directly to so yeah. inasema you say politics not your thing it's your thing it actually yeah, is you can't run away from it leaders na governance zote zinaanza na from huko machinani kwa ground you vote yeah. for that i used to think there are better countries than than this and i realize actually every country has its own demons yes, yes. yes. exactly demons yeah. ziko but demon but <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Timon is our cameraman. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't say Timon. T- Timon is a T T I M O N. It's someone's name and it's our cameraman's oh, name. Oh. Eh. No, no, oh, okay. So wait. So you said Mufasa has a book you have an album. Yeah, I have two albums. Okay. I didn't carry a couple uh, couple today. Yeah. But um I'm also working on another, on, on another thing that okay. would be a surprise. I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. Wait, no. So people are coming over. People are going to have fun. So um i wanted to talk about it when after after the launch okay. more about it after the launch yeah. because um more about the albums more yeah, more not the album the, the, project. Project, the project that i'm working okay, on right now project. okay because i've worked with a couple of songs with people i've yeah. worked with Joakali on his uh, on his album mm-hmm. uh, i've worked with the heart the band i've mm-hmm. worked with the uh, red acapella um i also helped writing an album yeah jambi koi kai that mm. i think kama zita toka ma itatoka i've worked with a couple of people okay and i also did my first album and my second album my first album is memoirs of wordsmith the other one is made in islands mm-hmm. so i didn't like the um, production part of it so we have to redo the entire the entire album okay yeah and also the other album the, i'm working on an ep that um, wow. maybe so like you sing I write, I songwrite. I uh, I don't sing. My voice is very very nini, very very <laughs> fine. Nini I like it. <laughs> you like it? Okay. I I I I I I'm, I'm more of a lyricist. Yeah, uh, so I, I I I create songs. So you do like what Kak Franklin does in the songs, in his songs? Yeah, maybe talking talking. Ah, uh, okay. Another one. Okay, <laughs> yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah. Wow, so you have two of those out already. Yeah, I have two of those albums out. They, uh, probably I can have one on the on the on the 27th. Yeah. One or two. Okay. Uh, two of the albums. But uh, the other one still we are we are working on it. It's a working progress. Yeah. Okay. So I want to g- get into a c- couple of these um poems. It's okay to call them poems. They are poems. Okay, cool. They are poems. Yeah, so the one that st- um struck me how is he your man tear drop you wanna read it hey i think a woman should read how is he your man <laughs> <laughs> but i can also read it because i've already read this book i have i have it okay okay yeah hey brazi bam how is he your man if he hits you hey bring the kid that i'm not going to eat another summer and i said because i didn't even summer and i said yeah but i can't see this out there how is he your man if he hits you how is he your man if you run to your friends for protection how will he hold you if those hands are the same hands you ran away from when you want to run away from the scars and if you can't trust his hands then how will you trust his ears when he scars inside you need an ear how deep can your mirror go before it's too far for you How many blows on your face before your wedding dress doesn't blow your mind anymore? Yes. His love used to leave you breathless. But tonight his hands will be on your neck choking you because lately that's the only way I picture you breathless. You say he used to stir your nerves. But from the wounds inside you he's been stabbing your nerves. You say you still love him. So you are stretching your hands so to a porcupine hoping His iris will find a way to teach his pupils to look at you as a lady but you say he hits you because he's a man but if he hits you because he's not a man enough not to mm. Ish, bro that's it yeah. I do not drop mic <laughs> <laughs> It's about violence in relationships yeah, it right is. it is Man so yeah what inspired that to someone that I knew was in a, 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 a physical a physical abusive relationship Yeah. So did you share this with her? No. 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 You wrote and kept it. And you no, assume no, if she gets did, the book did, she no, will I read it. I think no, she she, she let her on really. It actually the thing about poetry is this. It doesn't come in immediately. Right. Like if I if I interact with the situation, I won't write the poem immediately. Uh-huh. But it, it sticks somewhere. 
and then later on you'll just be somewhere and you think about it and then it has many many things instigated like basically if i see it and then i see somewhere else again yeah. i see another one again then now it it, it it starts disturbing me yeah. and for me i feel like i write when i have something to say mm. so i'll write when i'm disturbed i'll write when so basically that's when i wrote it because it was i wasn't writing it for her i was writing it for it was inspired by her but i was writing it for more people than just her right yeah i like that you write when you're disturbed yeah I relate to that yeah, yeah it 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 pinches you until yeah, you have you no choice but to just release it, it. yeah yeah i like yeah. that okay so um we'll take a break a very short one yeah, when juice. we come back <laughs> to break your juice hey <laughs> <Yeah>, steven <laughs> mufasa and teardrops are hinting that they need juice yes. so as we take a break we hope steven brings us juice yes. and we'll be back with more don't go too far yeah <laughs> for the juice <laughs>